sign up for half an hour. Right. <laughs> it's like, a, it's like a mutual you. appreciation society here, isn't it? Because we were downstairs so with you. So and true. We didn't see you, Josh, but we saw you too. And you're like so but excited we talked to about see you. Josh. Did, oh, you did, yes. <laughs> I had a glass to the wall. I heard everything. Yeah, you've been very busy, which we'll get to very shortly. Sure. But no, I mean, yeah, you guys, you went straight back. I don't know what year it was you were talking about, but it was it was a while ago. 84. But it was as if it was 84. Was it 84? Yeah, because wow. the album came out in 83 and then... It was 84, or maybe 85. No, it was, eight, it was 85. Eight, no, it, was 80, it was the 80s. Let's just go. 83. 83. I think, I think it was You're 83. You're so cute when no, you no, argue. It was, uh, <laughs> yeah, and I, you know, Cindy was up for about five awards, am I Seven. correct? For the MTV Awards. <laughs> Seven. There you go. Not that good, my Lost movie. every one except for one, which was weird, too, because I was the best new artist in... I don't know. But what did you say, Roger, when you I said I, I said, I hope you've brought a wheelbarrow ah, to see? take them home. Because I thought board. she was going to win everything. Oh. Yeah. And no. But she, you got one. But Cindy, got one. you deserve more. Is Every it... time I had one out, the cars came back. That, and, you know, everybody had these videos that were like $120,000, $150,000. We were there with the $38,000 video and Broadway video going, all right, it, it's a ball. What does it do? Does it bounce? And how much is that? You know, that's how I have to know. <laughs> but Josh, you've you've met Cindy before because you've yes. duetted together. Have we did uh, for for her, for her wonderful charity event that she does. Uh, it was in home New York, wasn't holidays. it? Yeah, yeah. And home for the holidays. It's, and, uh, uh, to benefit um, the homeless LGBT. Yeah, youth. a wonderful organization, and we sang uh, Imagine. We didn't we? We sang uh, John Lennon's Imagine, and we sang some uh, True Colors as well. Oh yeah, we we did a, a loop type of thing with yeah. Imagine. That's yeah. right. Yeah, it was and great. you were awesome. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. You were awesome. I was just honored to be part of it. So, uh, yeah, thr a real thrill. Anytime time I get to sing with some uh, someone of this legend and caliber, it is a masterclass. I'm sure. It was a sure. master oh. It was a masterclass, Cindy. You brought me out of my shell. Remember, I was very shy. I know you were. I was surprised. Yeah, you but you're me. very funny. Well, thank you very much. Well, we've got three singers on tonight, but only yeah. one is actually singing. I know. Yes. He's yeah, awesome. Yeah. You get to listen this is, tonight. This is one of the greatest rock singers <laughs> of thank all you. time. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody grew up listening to him sing. I mean, you, you started so young, too. You were awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And you still thank are. You. So you're back with a new album, and it's, it's kind of dedicated to your wife, isn't it? Uh, it, it, she's a big influence on it, yeah. Ever, but but well, basically, met. I've gone back to the music that The Who used to yes. play before Pete Townsend used to start writing the songs. That's right, because mm -hmm. he's on this album with you, isn't Yeah, he? he's playing the guitar on it, and, it and, and he gave me the confidence to finish this. Mm -hmm. Because um, I, I, I had a really kind of long-running period with the record where I got very sick. Uh, but uh, And when I went back to it, and, and it sounded rubbish, and I was going to shelve it. Mm -hmm. And then Pete heard it and said, you've got to finish it, Rog. And I'll play guitar on it. Oh. Now, as long as I have you is, is there. It's up yeah, yeah, and exactly, running, yeah. and you're going to do the single from it. Uh, yeah, I did the, the, the new single, yeah. if there is such a thing in the music business. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. <laughs> and and it's, quite, it's, quite, it's quite a soulful album, this. Yes, yeah, well, that's what we used to do. We were a soul band and a blues band, Tamla like Motown band. Mm -hmm. um, that's the kind of stuff that we used to do be before Pete started writing operas mm -hmm. right. and all that posh stuff. You know. And what, what's like it been like for you then to return <laughs> to that style now, having done everything that you've done in your career? Well, it's like going you've home. Got a lot of experience and, uh, I mean, in that now, you? and the great thing about singing songs that you used to sing 55 years ago, mm. and you go back to them and you revisit them, of course, you had 55 years of living yeah. to put into the lyrics, and so all of a sudden there's a lot more kind of going on in the song than there ever was when you sang it 55 years ago, mm. even though it's the same song. Mm. And I'm sure we'll all love it when we hear it later on, but what does Heather think? What was her she, she, reaction? She, she stays stum. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Well, better. she's here tonight, so no doubt she'll give you some feedback on your performance exactly. at the end of tonight's programme. Uh, so we'll hear you performing How Far later on, and, of course, talking to you both about musicals and Broadway a little bit later. Yeah, we've got a lot to get through, haven't we? Have. We have. Before that, uh, here's...